The following is a presentation of Tomorrow's World. Most of our Tomorrow's World viewers around the world know that dangers are increasing rapidly. Wars, terrorism, and violence headline our newspapers. Our fast-paced world produces stress in millions, if not billions of us. The high cost of living challenges our families. Can we pay our unpaid bills? Every day, millions commute in congested traffic that is frustrating and stressful. Machinery noise in our neighborhoods and workplace can be nerve-wracking. Then we may have conflicts and arguments with family members or coworkers. Then physical ailments and headaches can frustrate us and stress us even more. How serious is the problem? The National Institute of Mental Health reports that anxiety disorders are the most common mental illness in the United States, affecting 40 million adults in the United States age 18 and older, or 18 percent of the population. My friends, millions of people need to change their way of living. They are not applying the biblical keys for peace of mind. Many pay for expensive drugs to help calm their mental anxieties. Many become addicted to painkillers. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, gives this shocking report. Drug overdose deaths and opioid-involved deaths continue to increase in the United States. The majority of drug overdose deaths, more than 6 out of 10, involve an opioid. Since 1999, the number of overdose deaths involving opioids, including prescription opioids and heroin, quadrupled. From 2000 to 2015, more than half a million people died from drug overdoses. Ninety-one Americans die every day from an opioid overdose. My friends, there is a way to overcome anxiety, stress, worries, and frustration, and that way is free of charge. How can you find happiness and contentment in an age of stress, anxiety, wars, conflicts, terrorism, and financial collapse? Do you have peace of mind? You need to know the five keys for peace of mind. Stay tuned. Greetings to all our friends around the world. How many people find it difficult to cope with everyday stress? Do you find it difficult to find peace of mind and tranquility? The American Psychological Association gave this report in February 2015. 42% of adults say they are not doing enough or are not sure whether they are doing enough to manage their stress. One in five Americans, 20%, say they never engage in an activity to help relieve or manage their stress. With all the stresses and turmoil around the world and the troubling news we learn about every day, how can you overcome anxiety, worry, and apprehension? On today's program, we'll answer those questions and we'll be offering you an inspiring free audio CD that will help you maintain a positive, peaceful, and tranquil mind. It's titled, Vital Keys to Happiness. Be sure to write down the phone number and address to order your free copy. You can also order this CD on our website at tomorrowsworld.org. What are the common causes of stress? What kinds of stress are you and your family experiencing? The APA report continues with a listing of coping strategies used by some. Many Americans say their stress levels have either stayed the same, 53%, or increased 29% in the past year. Only 18% of Americans say their stress has decreased in the past year. The most commonly reported sources of stress include money. 64% report that this is a very or somewhat significant source of stress. Work, 60%. The economy, 49%. Family responsibilities, 47%. And personal health concerns, 46%. 
The most commonly reported stress management techniques include listening to music, 44%, exercising, walking, 43%, watching television for more than two hours per day, 40%, and surfing the internet going online, 38%. My friends, some of these strategies can help you manage stress, but the God who created your human mind to begin with gives long-term solutions to mental health challenges. Let's consider five strategies for producing and maintaining peace of mind. Key number one for producing peace of mind is read your Bible. My friends, this book holds the keys to life, a glorious future we call tomorrow's world and incredible promises for peace of mind. I encourage you to read the book of Psalms. The New Testament book of Philippians also gives wonderful strategies for a tranquil mind. Turn in your Bible to Psalm 119. The great psalmist, ancient King David, experienced many stressful trials. But here is one great lesson he learned through all his problems. Psalm 119, 165. Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. Why is that? King David had proved to himself that keeping the Ten Commandments produced security, assurance, and peace. This way of life brought understanding and comfort to him and all who practice loving God and loving neighbor. This promise is not a result of simple psychology. This peace of mind is a result of living God's way of life. Notice again, this is not just temporary tranquility, this is great peace. My friends, as you read the Bible and strive to live by it, God will bless you with heavenly divine blessings. As you read your Bible, you may want to write down scriptural references promising peace of mind. Notice this inspiring reference from our Savior. Turn in your Bible to John, the 14th chapter. Here Jesus gives us this encouragement in John 14, 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. As you read these promises in your Bible, God will give you contentment you may have never ever experienced in your life. Let's read one more amazing promise in Isaiah the 26th chapter, Isaiah 26, verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. My friends, you can have perfect peace, but you must focus your thoughts and prayers on God the Father and His Son. Jesus Christ knows you and your problems. He is at the right hand of God in heaven to plead your case. He, Jesus Christ, always lives to make intercession for them, as it tells us in Hebrews 7, verse 25. Your Bible also reveals God's awesome creation. Read Isaiah the 40th chapter and thank God for His love for you. Focus your thoughts on God's beautiful creation. Count your blessings. Think about the awesome promises and truths of God revealed in your Bible. Key number one for producing peace of mind is read your Bible. We'll continue with more special keys for producing peace of mind in the next part of the program. But first, I'd like to offer you this inspiring free audio CD or compact disc titled Vital Keys to Happiness. You may even want to share the CD with your family and friends. God wants you to apply these vital biblical keys to happiness, peace, and success. So pick up the telephone right now and request your free audio CD, Vital Keys to Happiness. You can also order this free CD on our website at tomorrowsworld.org or you can write to us at one of our regional addresses. Today's offer is yours absolutely free. No cost, no obligation. Call now, 1-800-236-0531. Or write to us at the address on your screen. Or visit us online at tomorrowsworld.org. With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine, full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. And be sure to go to tomorrowsworld.org 
forward slash digital. Have a digital subscription sent right to your email inbox faster than postal mail. Visit us online now. In the first part of our program, we saw that the American Psychological Association reported in February 2015 that 42% of adults say they are not doing enough or are not sure whether they are doing enough to manage their stress. We also saw that the most commonly reported sources of stress include money. 64% report that this is a very or somewhat significant source of stress. Work, 60% the economy 49 percent, family responsibilities 47 percent, and personal health concerns 46 percent. My friends, how can you deal with these stresses? Your Bible gives the answers. We briefly discussed one vital key to finding peace of mind. Key number one for producing peace of mind is read your Bible. Key number two for producing and maintaining peace of mind is serve in God's work. My friends, your Bible reveals the commission God gave His church. This mission should be the number one priority in your life. If you have your Bible, turn to Matthew, the sixth chapter. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. The kingdom of God is coming to this earth. Are you praying daily as Jesus taught us, your kingdom come? When we see all the evils imploding upon the world around us, we yearn for the kingdom to come. Do you have that as your mission? Successful people have a mission greater than themselves. Holocaust survivor Viktor Frankl stated this about our sense of mission. Everyone has his own specific vocation or mission in life. Everyone must carry out a concrete assignment that demands fulfillment. Therein he cannot be replaced nor can his life be repeated. Thus, everyone's task is unique as his specific opportunity to implement it. Before Jesus ascended to heaven, he spent 40 days with the disciples and he gave them what is called the Great Commission. Read that in Matthew 28, verse 18. All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Longtime viewers of Tomorrow's World know that we take that mission seriously. Will you join us in doing that vital work? Let others know about Tomorrow's World. Study the booklets, CDs, DVDs that we offer free of charge. Tomorrow's World website gives you those resources which you can order free of charge. And if you have come to the place in your life where you desire to repent and overcome and give your life to God in Christ, we have representatives in many regions around the world. You may want to counsel for baptism and make your life a part of the Great Commission. Be sure to write down the contact information on your screen or write to us at one of our regional addresses. Jesus also described the mission He gave His followers in Mark 16:15. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned or judged. God is calling you to support that mission. Will you answer His call? Key number two for establishing peace of mind is serve in God's work. Key number three for establishing peace of mind is maintain a positive and tranquil mind. My friends, have you made a conscious choice to maintain a positive attitude? Turn in your Bible to James, the first chapter. The Apostle James reinforces that principle. He gives us positive advice when facing stress, trials, and problems. What are we to think when we face trials? James writes in chapter 1, verse 2, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. The trial certainly may be painful, but you view the process with joy. Why? Verse 3, Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, but let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. You can have a positive attitude 
knowing that your character and patience are being strengthened. Yes, even though you may experience pain, you can still count it as joy. Why? Because the testing of your faith results in patience and improved character. How many times have I told myself when facing a stressful situation, maintain a positive and tranquil mind? God then helps me through the trial. Learning to smile and having a sense of humor also help at times. My friends, regardless of our circumstances, we must strive to maintain a positive mind. Listen to what the Apostle Paul emphasizes in Philippians 4.4. 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Yes, you can choose to think and meditate on positive principles rather than negative ones. Read this important key in Philippians 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Yes, meditate on the positive, or as it says in the King James Version, think on these things. Think of all the beautiful scenes you've seen in creation. Waterfalls, flowers, smiling babies, sunsets, rainbows, majestic mountains, and spectacular seascapes. And when you're faced with problems, look to God for the solution. Key number three for establishing peace of mind is maintain a positive and tranquil mind. We'll continue with key number four in the next part of our program. To help you in your pursuit of true success, happiness, and peace of mind, we'd like to offer you this inspiring free audio CD, Vital Keys to Happiness. This 80-minute CD contains three Tomorrow's World programs, Vital Keys to Happiness, Peace of Mind Through Prayer, and The Seven Laws of Success. Be sure to request your free copy. Call now. Today's offer is yours absolutely free. No cost, no obligation. Visit us online at tomorrowsworld.org. Find us on Facebook, watch us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. I asked at the beginning of the program, do you have peace of mind? So far, we've briefly discussed three keys to happiness and positive mindedness. Key number one for producing peace of mind is read your Bible. Key number two, serve in God's work. Key number three for establishing peace of mind is maintain a positive and tranquil mind. Sometimes we're stressed because we will not share our burdens with anyone else. As a result, we compound the worry. Key number four for establishing peace of mind is pray about your problems. My friends, you need to share your burdens and stresses with your Father in Heaven. Turn in your Bible to 1 Peter 5. Here is a promise that will help you overcome your anxiety. Share your worries with your Father in Heaven. 1 Peter 5, verse 5. Likewise, you younger people, submit yourselves to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time. Now notice this, casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. God knows all your problems and challenges. He wants you to share your anxieties with Him. Notice this wonderful promise in Philippians, the fourth chapter and verse 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yes, let your requests be known to God. How? Simply get down on your knees and pray to your Father in Heaven. Tell God your frustrations, your problems, your stresses, yes, and even your sins. You've heard the expression, confession is good for the soul. Well, what does your Bible say about that? Here is one of the most wonderful promises of God, 1 John 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, 
He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. My friends, God wants to forgive you when you repent. Be determined to change your life. Confess your sins, and God will give you the strength to change and renew your life. Read King David's prayer of confession after he had committed adultery. That's Psalm 51, verse 1. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. My friends, all the money in the world cannot buy you happiness, but God wants to freely give you the very special and priceless gift, peace of mind. What an incredible promise God is giving you. Just be plain in sharing your problems in prayer. Ancient King David was very open and even forward in his urgent complaints and prayers. Let's look at Psalm 30, verse 10, for example. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me. Lord, be my helper. This is just one of many requests for God's mercy. Notice that God is called the Father of mercies and God of all comfort in 2 Corinthians 1, verse 3. Millions of people are spending millions of dollars trying to cope with stress, frustration, and nervousness. Your Bible gives hundreds of promises and principles for peaceful and abundant living free of charge. But you must apply the instruction to pray with thanksgiving about your worries, anxieties, and problems. Then you can experience the wonderful peace of God which surpasses all understanding. My friends, share your anxieties with God in prayer. Suggest solutions to your problems. Thank God for the privilege of coming before His throne of grace. Look forward to His promise that He will give you the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. My friends, thank God daily for all the blessings in your life. Thank God for His personal love toward you. Key number four for establishing peace of mind is pray about your problems. We'll share the final key in the conclusion of our program. But first, I'd like to once again offer you this very encouraging, uplifting, and inspiring audio compact disc Vital Keys to Happiness. This free 80-minute CD contains three Tomorrow's World programs, Vital Keys to Happiness, Peace of Mind Through Prayer, and The Seven Laws of Success. You need this vital information. These programs will help you in the study of the Bible and help you find that elusive peace of mind that is so precious in God's sight. You may even want to share this CD with your family and friends. God wants you to apply these vital biblical keys to happiness, peace, and success. So pick up the telephone right now and request your free audio CD, Vital Keys to Happiness. You can also order this free audio CD on our website at tomorrowsworld.org, or you can write to us at one of our regional addresses. Today's offer is yours absolutely free. No cost, no obligation. Call now. 1-800-236-0531 or write to us at the address on your screen or visit us online at tomorrowsworld.org With this offer you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues and be sure to go to tomorrowsworld.org forward slash digital. Have a digital subscription sent right to your email inbox faster than postal mail. Visit us online now. On today's program, we've been discussing keys to peace of mind. Regardless of the stresses we face, God gives us the power and the principles to cope with the frustrations and challenges of life. Let's briefly review the first four of the five keys for peace of mind. Key number one for producing peace of mind is read your Bible. Key number two, serve in God's work. Key number three, maintain a positive and tranquil mind. Key number four, pray about your problems. 
The Apostle Paul gave a prophecy describing the moral meltdown of our age today. He stated in 2 Timothy 3, verse 1, But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come. He then listed the selfish and sinful attitudes and behaviors that we see all around us. One of those sins was ingratitude, or as the Apostle Paul described it, human beings are unthankful. Let's understand, my friends, the fifth key for peace of mind is practice thanksgiving. Most of all, we practice thanksgiving by recognizing that all good things we enjoy come from God. The Apostle James writes in chapter 1, verse 16, Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Of His own will He brought us forth by the word of truth, that we might be a kind of firstfruits of His creatures. We owe God thanks for every breath of air we breathe. We owe thanks to God for His love and the love of Christ for every human being on earth. Count your blessings. Thank God for the simple things in life as well as the awesome spiritual gifts He wants to give you. Did you notice earlier in the program when we read God's awesome promise for peace of mind that we were to ask for the blessing with thanksgiving? Let's read it again, Philippians 4, verse 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Thank God many times a day. Specifically, thank Him for the ability to overcome anxiety, stress, and frustration. God promises us in Philippians 4, 7, The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Key number five for producing peace of mind is practice thanksgiving. My friends, on today's program, we've seen that God is very willing to give us a peace of mind that surpasses all understanding. In this world of turmoil, stress, and danger, you need God's peace of mind. Be sure to apply all five of these keys for peace of mind, and be sure to request our inspiring free audio CD, Vital Keys to Happiness. May God bless you as you seek first His kingdom and His righteousness. We invite you to join us every week on Tomorrow's World, or watch us online at any time. As these end time prophecies come to pass, you need the encouragement, faith, and truth that come from your Bible. Gerald Weston, Wallace Smith, and I, along with our guest presenter, Rod McNair, will continue to share with you the teachings of Jesus Christ, the good news of the coming kingdom of God, and the exciting end time prophecies in their meaning. So be sure to join us again next week, right here at this same time. To take advantage of today's free offer or view today's program now or anytime, go to tomorrowsworld.org. Find us on Facebook, watch us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. The preceding program is produced by the Living Church of God.